today I'm unboxing a blind engine. So this particular blind engine is by a company called Brunt and this product allows you to motorize your blinds. It's quite a cool bit of tech here. Let's have a quick look around the packaging. Quite nicely packaged here. Got some details on the back regarding compatibility. So these are the different blind types it's compatible with. So I'll quickly go through them. So horizontal blinds, roller shades they say, combi blinds, vertical blinds, roman shades and curtains, drapes. And the unsupported blind types are curtains, non-cord type, obviously how's it going to pull it if there's no cord, blind with a cord lock, so if there's a lock on there it's not going to be able to handle that, and blinds with handles, so there's no cord, there's just a handle to control it. So there's some stats about it, so communication frequency 2.4 gigahertz uh, over Wi-Fi, uh, voltage is 12 volts and the current is 2 amps. Okay, there's some details of the motor strength on there and the torque. Okay, let's carry on having a look. Picture of a phone, so obviously you should be able to control it via that. Main features it says, mobile control scheduling, multiple control, location reg recognition control and voice control. That should be quite interesting to see. Okay, nothing more to it, let's open it up. So their logo, logo there, Brunt, let's open it up, Look, welcome on there, and a bit of foam just to hold it in place. Okay, the actual blind engine itself, got a box in there as well, that contains power adapter, and We've got some sticky pads there, some instructions, got some fixtures there and some fittings for the actual blind engine itself. And that's it. Okay, so I've laid out all the items you get in the packaging and let's take a look at each of the items. So first, the power adapter. If I show the actual power usage on there and output so input is 100 to 240 volts and 0.8 amps max output is 12 volts 2000 milliamps build quality seems good nothing to be really concerned about and ample cable which is nice okay instructions if I flick through them Got it in English, and then it looks like Chinese. Okay, that's fine. Next, you've got two sticky pads, and you've got some screws for fixtures. So you've got two methods of actually attaching the blind engine. So you can actually stick it directly onto the wall, or you could actually take this rear plate off and screw that plate straight onto the wall. Okay, so that's those bits. And then you have these two options. So, you have two possible ways of using this. Um, you've got a ball chain, so that's a string with little balls on, and normally that's used for a roller grind, for example, so as shown in the picture. And then you've got a cord, so just a simple pull cord, to pull to open and then pull to close so it just slips straight around this and these cogs are placed within here now the actual blind engine itself feels quite good tough uh, plastic on there now the rear of this there's a plate and if I push this bit down the plate slips out and that's what you'd mount onto the wall. So you can just screw that in and then take the blind engine and push in and attach like so. Now on the front, you've got up, down, 
you've got LED indicating um, connectivity and a reset button. If I look just below, you've got the point where you plug in the power, which is just there. Um, nothing else beyond that on there. Now to actually put the cogs in, that's quite straightforward. If I pull this off, it comes off quite easily. I can just put one of these cogs on and just to note, it's round, but there's a slight edge on there and that's how it sort of holds it gri its grip. And that pushes on and then you'd put your cord around there, put it into position and then you can set it up. Now, I'll show it in action like this, just to give you an idea how you'd go about setting this up. Okay, so let's have a look at the actual size of this product. It isn't extremely compact, obviously it's got a motor and things like that in there, so it does have to be a certain, certain size just to handle and actually have all the components in there. So we're talking about 12 and a half to 13 centimeters high. And depth wise, we're talking about five centimeters. And the width here is four. And at the large end, it's about five and a half. So a fair size to it, I think, if you compare it to a sort of standard pulley system. Okay, so once you've attached onto the wall, it can just easily be slipped in like so. And then you've got the clips, so you can, if you wanted to make it slightly tighter, you just pull that little area out and you just push. And as it goes down, it will just give that extra tightness on there. So obviously you want it to be nice and tight just to be able to grip on to the wire or the ball chain. Okay, so next I'm gonna show how to install the app on your smartphone. So looking in the instructions, we've got a QR code just there. So there's two ways. You can search for the actual manufacturer, Brunt, on Play Store and find the app, or you could just scan in the QR code. So let's give it a sec. Okay, found it there. I click there and just install. Okay, so the app's installed, let's click open. And you're presented with this dialogue. So let me sign up in the background and say I've read all the terms and conditions and I'll put in my details offline away from the camera. Okay, so once you've signed in, this is the dialogue you're presented with. So if I click on the plus and we want the Brunt blind engine, so is this first time to use blind engine? We'll say yes to that. And it just shows you the details are already shown regarding putting the cogs on relating to the type of um, option you're gonna go for, whether string or ball chain. So let me keep going. It just shows you the mounting instructions and adjustments there and then plug in the power. So if I now take the actual power adapter, let's take that off, plug it straight in in the background, and then plug the power in, what you should see is a red flashing light. And there you go, give it a second. We'll take our app, click there. Okay, it's just confirming review if it's blinking. Connection info there, next. Now this is where you wanna pick up your Wi-Fi. So let me pick up my test Wi-Fi network and then put in the password off camera here. Okay. So I've entered in my Wi-Fi password and the Wi-Fi link I'm using. And now here's where you can make the adjustments for the lowest position. If I click there. So obviously with this fitted, um, you'd get it into the lowest position like so. Once you've done that, hit save, and then you take it to the highest position. 
and then you hit save. Just let it in the background, just save the details. So this is to the actual device, so it can connect wirelessly. And there you go. Mobile and device are successfully connected. You can use device from now on. And getting started. And there you go. The front blind engines appeared here. And if I click here, pull down, a second there you go so this now rolls to the location you set and then if I push up there you go so as well as automatically opening and closing your blinds so this is in the closed position push it up it should theory show it opened afterwards okay or if I move it even higher up so it will even do halfway if you wanted it doesn't have to be all the way so quite impressive so as well as that you've got the scheduling option so if I click plus just down here you can say how much you want it opened and if you want it closed so percentage wise so you can set a timer on a daily or a weekly basis to to set the times you want so quite a flexible product there okay so just to show the blind engine in action i've got a blind in one of my rooms here just going across and i've moved the existing fixture at the place and the blind engine is just here just attached to the cord now there's two different types of cogs that are already shown um, obviously you can inter interchange between the two just to find the right fixture for this so I've got the app open if I can show all it is is just a matter of pulling this down to close the blind so I've temporarily fixed this so I'm just gonna have to hold on to this and I'll pull it down and let's just give it a moment and there you go Okay, that's closed position. Let's give the app a moment just to show it's closed. Okay, that's showing closed. If I hold on to this again, obviously if I firmly secured it, I wouldn't have to do that. I'd have to take it all the way to the top. I can set it to a certain position like so. And it stops. Let's let it refresh on the actual app again and it's showing it's not all the way to the top so I hold on to it and push it all the way now there you go just give it time to refresh on there but there you go as simple as that works really well Okay, so you've seen the unboxing of this blind engine, you've seen what components you get in the packaging, and you've seen how to configure it. Now, a couple of things to note about this. So, I've tried getting it working with the Amazon Alexa and the Google Home. It's not compatible at the moment with the Google Home. It is supposedly compatible with the Amazon Alexa, but I never actually managed to get it working. There were a few issues with that. I did reach out to support, but I never actually managed to get it going. Now, quite interestingly enough, I did have a look at some of the reviews people left for this product on Amazon in the US. Now, it wasn't very positive about it. There were some reviews that did say it did work, but a couple of things probably to highlight about this. So, as I've already shown, you take this off and you put the cog in. Now, one thing that I wasn't entirely sure of, that I thought, because it said ball chain, you use the ball chain sort of system for this and this one for the cord, but actually that's incorrect. You can actually use the ball chain on this as well and cord. So things to keep in mind. So when you're installing this, 
You've got to make sure that the cog doesn't slip and it's tight enough to actually control it. And I think that's where people are failing with this product. Now, if you did have it tight enough, you shouldn't run into any issues with it and it should easily be able to control your actual blind. So I actually did start off with this one and it was slipping on a number of blinds I had. And then I reached out to the manufacturer and they said, try the other, other actual cog. Tried this one and it was fine. So I didn't have any issues with it after that. And functionality wise, it does work. Is a little bit slow reporting back to the actual blind engine, um, which is not a major issue, but it does work. And even schedule wise, if you set the schedule, it will adjust it accordingly. So works well. I guess I would have been happier if it was working with the Google Home. Obviously I'm using that in my own scenario at home. Uh, but generally as a product, it is pretty good. Does the job at hand, but needs a bit more of a boost, I guess, in terms of development to get it going with the Google Home and a bit more usable with the Alexa. So there you go. Hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this particular blind engine. Details are in the description below. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.